Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome to another reading from Health for Youth. My name is Miss Cheryl, and as always, I am a friend of Health for Youth. Today, we are going to read and we are going to sing a little, but our book is a little bit longer today. So, why don't we begin by singing our welcome song? I look at all of your beautiful faces and I know we are all happy today. We are just excited to begin. So without further interruptions, let's sing our welcome song. Are we ready? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Hello everyone, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hello everyone, clap your hands, clap your hands today. Hello everyone, stamp your feet, stamp your feet, stamp your feet. Hello everyone, stamp your feet, stamp your feet today. Good job. Really, really, you are, I, everyone seems to know this song now. And that makes Miss Cheryl really happy. Well, today we are going to dive straight into our story. It's called Iris and Walter, and it's written by Alyssa Hayden Guest, and the pictures are by Christy Devonier. Whenever we read someone else's story, we have to give them credit, because we did not write that the story. So let's see what happens with Iris and Walter. When Iris and Iris' family moved, from the big city to the country, Iris was sad. She missed her noisy street. She missed her wide front door. She missed playing baseball after supper until it was too dark to see the ball. Iris missed the long hallway where she roller skated on rainy days. And at night, she missed the tango music from apartment 3B. She missed the swoosh of the bus doors opening and closing. She missed the rumble rumble of the subway under the ground. Iris missed her old life. Iris missed her old life in the Big city. Cheer up, my Iris, said Iris's mother. We are in the country now. Why don't you run around and do a cartwheel in the grass? But Iris did not want to run around. Iris did not want to do a cartwheel in the grass. So Iris' mother ran around. Iris' mother did a cartwheel in the grass. Do you know how to do a cartwheel? You don't have to show me right now. I know you can. Talk about fun, said Iris' mother. Hmm, said Iris. Cheer up, my Iris, said Iris' father. We are in the country now. Why don't you play monkeys and swing from the tall trees? But Iris did not want to play monkeys. Iris did not want to swing from the tall trees. Iris's father played monkeys. Iris's father swung from the tall trees. Talk about fun said Iris' father. Hmm, said Iris. 
Iris, my girl, said Grandpa. Iris hoped he would not stop and say, Cheer up. He did not. Grandpa said, Let you and I go for a walk. Iris smiled. And off they went. Do you see, Grandpa? What about the beautiful house? Do you have a grandpa as wonderful as Iris's grandpa? Well, okay, let's continue. Iris and grandpa went for a walk. Can I tell you something, Iris asked? You may tell me anything, said grandpa. I hate the country, said Iris. Why, asked grandpa. Because there are no children here said Iris. The country is as lonely as Mars. Iris, my girl, there must be some children here, said Grandpa. Do you think so? asked Iris. I know so. We shall have to find them. Iris, we shall be exploring. Iris and Grandpa walked down the road. The birds were singing, the roses were blooming, and around the bend, someone was waiting. Iris and Grandpa walked around the bend. They saw a great big green tree, just like the tree behind the Sharon. But it was even bigger than that. What a tree, said Grandpa. So green, said Iris. So beautiful, said Grandpa. I want to climb it, said Iris. Down came a ladder. Do you see the ladder? Amazing. I wonder what's up there, said Grandpa. I'll go see, said Iris. Iris began to climb. How is it up there? called Grandpa. It's very green, yelled Iris. Iris climbed higher and higher until she was almost at the top of the great big green tree. Grandpa called Iris. There is a house up here. Amazing, said Grandpa. Iris knocked on the door. Come in, said a voice. Iris opened the door. Hi, I'm Walter, said Walter. I'm Iris, said Iris. Iris and Walter shook hands. Hey, Grandpa, there's a kid up here named Walter, yelled Iris. How wonderful, Grandpa said. Iris and Walter played every day. They climbed trees. They rolled down hills. They played hide and seek. When it rained, Walter showed Iris his hat collection, and Iris showed Walter how to roller skate indoors. Some days, they rode Walter's sweet pony, Sal. Other days, they sat on a fence and watched a horse named Rain running wild. Tell me about the big city, said Walter. Well, said Iris, in the big city, there are lots and lots of people. Are there wa Ah, said Walter, but in the country, there are lots and lots of stars. Iris and Walter played every day, but still, Iris dreamed of the big city. She dreamed of a noisy street and her wide front stoop. She dreamed of tango music and of roller skating down the long hallways. But Iris was no longer sad. For the country, there were red tailed horns and starry skies. There were pale roses, and there was cool grass beneath her feet. 
there was a wild horse named Rain and a sweet pony named Sal. And across the meadow, over the stream, high in a tree, was a little house. And inside, there was a new friend, and his name was Walter. The end. Now, did we like that story? I'm happy we did. You see, sometimes we have to go through changes like we are going through right now. We have to stay inside and do what's called social distancing. That's because mommy and daddy wants to keep you healthy and safe. And they want to be healthy and safe also so they can take care of you. So Iris was sad when she left the city and went to the country. But sometimes we have to do something new to benefit. She made a new friend and her life there was amazing. Even though she still missed the city. But she was adjusting and Iris will be okay. Just like you will be okay and we'll see your friends soon again. The end. So if you like that story of Iris and Walter, show me Cheryl by giving a big, big clap. <laughs> Miss Cheryl like that. So our story time has now come to an end. And how do, um, how about we end by singing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.